It was early day writer James Henschel who called the smallmouth bass, pound for pound, the gamest fish that swims. Many fish might get bigger, but when it comes to a spirited exchange once hooked, it's hard to beat the smallmouth. It's a marvelous fighter, an acrobat of sorts, and it's available to anglers across North America, having been widely stocked beyond its natural range in lakes, rivers, and reservoirs all across the northern half of the United States and into Canada's famous Canadian Shield waters. What a persnickety fish this is, which is why finesse tactics so often prevail to catch them. Yet, in stark contrast, aggressive tactics can also rule the day. And thus it is, on any day on the water, really we've learned to have options close at hand from each side of the scale. First, all the rage for decades, and perhaps the finest finesse option of all time, the straightforward hair jig. Oh, the actual body materials may range from fine bucktail to marabou with many hybrid options in between, but whatever the material, the finished product is meant to flow and flare and pulsate as the jig is maneuvered along with rod tip movements that bring magic to the otherwise mundane. Because one of the things about hair jigs, people say hair jigs, hair jigs, well there's as much variance, well not quite as much variance in hair jigs as there are in like say soft baits. So you just, you know, you just can't say hair jig, you got to go into it a little bit more deeply than that. So this is sort of classic hair right here and I like it like this because I like it you know, I like not a little short head, but a little bit longer head, and this is tied, so it's got some length to it, and then you've got some length to the hair. So it flows beautifully in the water. It just, I mean, it just takes a rod tip nod. But in comparison to the actual bucktail, and most of this bucktail comes off the bottom of the deer's tail, so it's the softest part of that tail. But then you've got even a softer option in marabou itself, don't you? Yeah, one thing I noticed and I like with the marabou is you get more of the puffin. Oh yes. Once in a while uh, I'll swim it, but I'll <clears> give it a little <throat> twitch and you get that puffin and flaring of the, of the marabou in the water. So, and this one's got the little short head on it. So what you want to do with hair jigs is you want to have some little short guys for different situations. You want to have some actual bucktail, and we could go into all the various kinds of bucktail and how these are tied just as we could with the various marabou entries. But you certainly want some bucktail hair, and you certainly want some marabou hair in the same situation. Another finesse option that often works like magic is the four inch power bait power minnow. Curly tail grubs also are a classic offering, typically all season long. It's also hard to beat tubes at times, especially on light jig heads when fish are in shallow water. You know, I like to fish the tube on the outside with the head on the outside. I'll show you that in just a second. We'll put him back quick. Nice. So, got the jig head. This is a trocar jig head. It's got a little keeper barb right there. And so that slides through the tube right there, kind of locks it right in place so you can fish that head on the outside. And I think you get a lot better action, a little more flowing action with the head on the outside. You can fish it on the inside too, but I prefer it like this. So too is Ned rigging all the rage over the last 10 years. So you see, plenty of options prevail. And we haven't even gotten into drop shotting, which we'll leave for another day. Options on the aggressive side of the scale play in contrast to finesse tactics. Ripping lipless lures work like magic at times. Ripping spoons can also drive small mouths crazy. There's one. He chunked it pretty good. In we go. Up and had a beautiful fish. Wow. The spoon continues to do the job. There. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at the, he's got the little round knob head going right there. Beautiful fish. So some days, you know, you get classic action where you just take the hair jigs and the, the power minnow, the four inch power minnow jig head. You got specific spots you're pitching to. You got fish moving up, moving down sometimes. That's a lot of fun to fish like that. That ain't the program today. These fish are all scattered over this giant, or these several giant large uh, gravel sand uh, boulder flats. And so that spoon is really one of the best ways to go. Um, now I'm remiss in not trying probably the blade bait and the lipless lure and dialing it back just a little bit. You never know. With contrasting presentation options close at hand, each day on the water is an experiment in action. Now you might roll two or three fish with finesse tactics, and then when things slow, 
pick up an aggressive option and bing, bang, boom, another fish or two. Or perhaps you haven't been on the water for a while and you don't have a clue where the fish are, much less what they might prefer to eat once you find them. Because it's so easy to make giant casts, fish fast, and cover a lot of water with aggressive options, we often start that way. And when we find fish, we're also bound to slow down and finesse them after the fact. So then, when you find fish and you want to slow down just a little bit, these are three classics right here. You've got a smaller ripple shad here on about a, this is a quarter ounce head. Uh, this is a power minnow, a Berkeley power bait power minnow. It's four inches long. I've got it rigged to the side just a little bit there so it dances left and right. And then some kind of classic marabou hair jig or a bucktail tie would do too. And these are what you want to spend most of your time with once you find fish. This is what you're looking for when you're searching for fish or on a day like today, I haven't got a pattern put together, but I've got some nice fish in the moat just the same. That's it. Give them the old one, two. A poke here, a jab there, a little sleight of hand, and a lot of illusion. Make them an offer they can't refuse. And when they do, make them a starkly different offer. It's a practical way to put together a successful day for the gamest of fish that swims. Wow, man, oh man, what a horse and a half right there. This segment is brought to you by Yamaha. 